Good afternoon. My name is Tizen Yu, and I'm a diploma in information technology from year two, semester three. And today I'm going to present a local area network design for Sri UK International School for our assignment. Uh, assign us to develop a local area network development for different locations in the campus and also different classes and departments for the campus to enhance the uh, network connectivity and information information transfers in functionable way. Okay, for the first part, we design a subnet table for the for the administrative department. Let's take example, and for the number of hosts, right, administrative department is fifty, and we also have to try to calculate the twenty percent growth for the number of hosts for every certain department, and calculate and we have 60 and you have 60 hosts for version add another 10 more hosts which is a ip address host for 80 percent growth in the future for the campus area network this open area network development and also we, we, we proceed to the number of hosts which we've been calculated by based on the number of hosts which is exceed or equal to the overall number of hosts and after the calculation, we have to calculate the sub extent of subnet mass and we implement the subnet address range from 192.168.25 to 0 to 192.168.25.128. And we will using the between the subnet between the address range of 192.168.25.1 to 192.168.25.126. So this is the usable range for the IP address to implement the number total number of hosts for a certain department. And this is how we implement the ID IP address based on the subnet addresses and the range of the subnet and the range of the subnet addresses. And and the majority we apply with the class C IP addresses or able to enhance the connectivity and data transfer. After we design the subnet table, and we we'll move on the addressing design. And as I mentioned before that the, the subnet range, the address IP address range for administrative department is from 192.168.25.1 to 192.168.25.126. So between that range, we will implement the certain the unique IP address, which is a 192.168.25.2, which is between that range of the subnet addresses. And we will also implement the numerous IP addresses on the uh, underneath for the rest of the host device. And also we implement the default gateway for able the host device to connect to the router and interconnect to the different locations and different department. And this is the addressing design for implement the certain IP addresses for required and particular posts for different departments and different locations. And now I'm gonna to proceed to, I'm gonna to proceed to the testing part for overall the local area network development. And as you can see, this is the overall the local area, local area network development that we have implemented. And, and this is the layout, network layout that we have designed. So I just go to the first and upper part for testing and explanation. So let's take example from administrative department to the account department for different subnet to another subnet connection. So just pay for this host and then to the account department for this PC account to host. And as you can see, the ping is successfully successfully uh, transferred from this department and to this account department. And I'll pass from this host, from this administrative department into the registry department. And also it's ping successful. And for another part, I would like to ping from different uh, 
subnet addresses, which is this is which is this two particular uh, library library uh, division. It's first based on ground floor and second floor. I think they have the same uh, subnet addresses, which is a class B subnet address. So as you connect each other, as you ping each other, they between the host to this host. And try a second time. And as you can see, it's successfully connected between these two two different two different floor of the two different floor of this section. And this is the connection from of the class B, subnet mask of the class B. And also I will we will connect from class B to class C from ground floor to the first floor in the library. So from this host because this host to the library six host and also if I again this host from this host this is against, and also it successfully ping from class B IP addresses to class C IP addresses and so this is show the connection through the router and then you will interconnect with this campus router too and then it will, will transfer the data packet into this uh, class, class C IP addresses, which is, shows that the pin connectivity is successful. And so that's all for my part. And I will proceed to the next part to show Gen C. All right, so thank you, Tizen Yi, for this part of the presentation. And now I'll take over with my part. Uh, to talk about the others, other connections. So first of all, let me take two examples. All right, like two examples. So we're going to talk about science lab and a classroom. Since classroom, I placed it on as a class B IP address. IP address. So we're going to talk about it later. So first of all, science lab. We have ninety holes, and another twenty percent because we going to have one hundred and eighteen holes. Okay, so there we go. So we need 118 hosts to fulfill this place. We're going, so we're going to use 2 to the power 7, which is 138 hosts, and which fulfills the need of the sensor. And for the subnet master, sub, subnet master address, which is using the 24 plus 8 minus the basic borrow, so it's 24 plus 1, which we got 25. And here's the uh, summary address, which is 192, 168, 10, and 0. And the broadcast address, 192, 168, 10, and 127. Okay. And then this one, is, and what we have here is the, is, what we have here is the last address that is open for use, which is 192, 168, 10 and 126 and this is the first one that is applicable for the, for the address all right so next one talking about class talking about classroom we have 48 posts and then another 20 percent which is 10 around 10 and we got ourselves 58 okay so 58 hosts we're not enough for two part to the power of 5, which is only 32. So we're going to take another, another byte, which is 2 to the power of 6, and we're going to put it here as equals to 64, and it fulfills the whole, the whole needed for the classroom. And here we use the calculation for class B, which is 16 plus 16 minus the basic power of 6, so it's 26. And 172. 168, 10, and 0 is the IP address for class B. Okay, easy. All right. So here is a broadcast address uh, 172, 168, 10, 64. And this one is the, the final address used for the classroom place, which is 63. And, here's a, and this one is the first one. Well, and the others are pretty just the uh, same, but applicable with 
class C address. All right, so next up. So we're going, we're going to get us up over to the next the trace, uh, our packet tracer. All right, from myself here. And all right, so first of all, we're going to check if we are able to, to have ourselves connected. Uh, okay, so we're going to see lab one. First, we're going to check lab one to lab five. It just successful. All right, it just successful. I'll take it. And okay, so if we want to go over deployment, is we're going to do this. We're going to try PC one and R PC two. It says it's failed. So and next one next one we're going to uh, go for our room uh, rpc1 and rpc4 it says success will get and we're going to pay to add a department so arpc3 and we're going to arp abpc2 and it says successful all right so okay so next one next one. auto visual room we're going to take abpc1 to KVPC4. Okay, it says success. And to music. So AVPC4 to AVPC and PC1. It says success. Alright, thank you guys all. Thank you guys for listening to my part of the presentation. And thank you, sir, for having this time to look at the assignment course for yourself. Alright, so thank you guys, everyone.